What's going on, everybody? It's Logs, aka Logan Brennan. Welcome back to another banger. Hope you guys are having an absolutely amazing day. So, welcome to the inside the mind of a champion. Um, if you guys haven't checked out my other videos, the tips and tricks video, I said that I was going to do this. I was going to do a reaction of my clips and kind of just give a rundown of what I'm thinking, what I'm doing, and how I'm doing it so that you guys can kind of get a better understanding and this will probably help you in your uh, next couple games so you know that the game is supposed to be thought of this way. Now obviously these are clips, so obviously these are the best moments. So you're not going to be able to see my faults. Just keep that in mind. Like, yeah, these are all going to be like look perfect. They're going to look crispy. Aim was perfect. Placement, strategy, everything was good. But just know that obviously I wouldn't clip a bad um, situation. So keep that in mind. But this is going to help you guys. Trust me. So let's dive right in. Okay, so I know this is going to look a little confusing, but obviously me down here is the live. And then this is from the stream. So just to get you guys, you know, caught up to speed. So in this situation, um, it is a 5v4 um, and we're on cafe and I'm Ash. So site is in kitchen. So that means I'm, me and Buck are going above while Ace is pushing bakery and he's gonna be opening big door. So right now what I'm supposed to do, this is my job, is to destroy the above, make them rotate and freak out or whatever. And so that Ace can, you know, make the whole push in and we can watch the plant go down, blah, blah, blah. So let's see what I do. Okay, so I place a breach charge. Peeking a little bit and then I get a kill. Okay, go down inside. Call it out to my teammates. And I'm, as you can see, I'm frantically looking around, making sure that I'm not getting flanked. My dead inside. That's on my dead as well. Making sure I'm not getting flanked because since I am p making this play, they're probably more likely to push out of sight since the site is completely open and to push upstairs and to kill whoever it is. So let's keep watching. So here's some shooting, you know, easy picks. It's, this is a pretty simple clip. Okay. So that's basically the one of the most effective ways to utilize Ash on cafe when the site is downstairs. So right now I was sneaking down um, and I this map is horrendous and I hate it, but uh, sneaking down the stairs so that, that they almost killed me. nobody hears me uh, pushing yeah. down and then obviously the biggest explosion ever happens so at this point uh, I didn't put this in the clip but there, I looked to the left and there's a doorway and then there's a shield behind it didn't see anybody behind the shield I, all I saw was a shield so immediately what I did was I realized this was a soft wall and I opened it with my breach charge and then so when you put a breach charge down and you blow it up and you, sh you can shoot your ash charge way faster instead of shooting both, and it's just a waste of utility. So if you're in stuff like this and you're ash or Zofia or anything like that, use your breach charge first so you don't have to waste your ability. Even though you have it, whatever. So that's exactly what I do. Hold on, I'm gonna open this. Who's behind me? Okay. Open yes. it, shoot like it, that. make him push away. He pushed out and then killed the one that was close on the door. That's other side, dude. So now I have an open view of sight now. So I'm just, as you can see, I was just waiting for my teammates to push up and you see Ace plant and that's the end of the round. GG. So right now, sight, as you can see on the left side of the screen is in that direction. So I'm pushing pretty close just because my teammates on the left side, you can't really see it, but they're getting main wall. So I'm pushing, I'm solo doloing this, but then my teammate, you know, went with me. So I'm trying to roam clear nearby, and I know that they have a Cavera because I uh, drone beforehand. So let's see how this plays out. Soul is dead. So that's a tip that I can give you guys. Um, whenever you're in a gunfight like that and you don't see the enemy or in any, any gunfight whatsoever, when you swing and you shoot and they're shooting, just sit there and wait for them to continue pushing, continue swinging, because it's way easier to hold one angle instead of me to swing back around and have to adjust where he is so in that situation i was pre-firing and that's just because he hit me which means that he was moving to where my crosshair was so i just uh figured out where his head would be and then i just pre-fired so whenever you get in a gunfight like that and you peek and you get shot at just go back and hold a pixel and wait for them to push up and if they don't then you know that he's still over there and then you can quick peek it <clears throat> can you line skin uh, I don't have it. Bruh. Bruh. Thank you. Talking to you. 
All right, so Cav is probably gonna be on my right side. Warden's probably peeking this. Yeah, I hear him. Okay, so the reason why that I said it that way was because they, I knew, like I said before in the drone phase, I knew that there was a Cavera. And I do see Warden, right, like on the top. So Warden would not be pushing with Cav. We've made a lot of noise killed Solus, so Solus probably called out, yo, they're pushing, we meeting, you know, they're pushing this room, hurry up, right? So, there's a stairway on the right side, and over there is sight, so if you use your common sense, if I was in Cavera's position, I would push up these stairs to my right, because if I were to push where I'm looking, which is fine, she would be running all the way upstairs, go through balcony, cut through sight, go through connector and then go through this door and then be right there. That's not how you utilize Cav. So I would just push up the easiest and fastest route as quiet as I can. And then Warden obviously wouldn't be pushing with Cav so because we already droned this top area to the right. So he's most likely in this room right here. You guys are clear up to this. All right, y'all can push in that, yeah, in that room in there. And I'll just watch flank because she's going to come up here. Waited a little bit. Is Cab dead? I mean, you and there she is. Now she is. I got it. And so now I push with my team because they're pushing up. Wall, starting to right? open up sight. Okay. Get a red ping. That warden is in here. Pre-fire. Head level. Okay. Warden's dead. No calls. And then get a ping. Boom. There he is. Now, in this situation, I got a lot of accusations that I was cheating both when I was live and after I posted the video. Now, if you look, whenever I was shooting, I saw her run to, or him, or her run to the right, okay? If you look right there, I'm gonna zoom in on it. If you just look at that, there's a shadow that shows a body that's moving, so that's why I pre-fired, watch. See the shadow? Easy round. Very quick reaction time, map knowledge. It, it, it takes a lot of thought process. Okay, buddy. In this scenario, right, it's 5v4. I am so low. Like, what happened earlier this round was I was on the other side. We were getting main garage, and they have a mirror set up on the garage, so I just kind of abandoned it. They kind of stayed there for some odd reason, so I was like, all right, I'm just going to go push, uh, push West Main. So I did. I went down the stairs quietly, and then this is why that it looks so weird because they're all expecting me to be on the other side. But then I solo push over here and this is what happens. So get Cade. Now, okay, look, actually the minor details I wanna to explain to you guys real quick. I had no idea that Cade was right there. No idea, okay? No idea that he was there. Whenever I hit this, I, it's like I said, the reaction time is one of the main things in Siege, okay? You see where I'm aiming. I'm aiming at his shoulders. Watch how I adjust to hit his head. I aimed up and diagonal because he was running this way up and diagonal to match his head. That's one of the main things that I said in my last video. The crosshair placement is huge. It's very crucial. Make sure that when you're, when you're in a gunfight that you always try and flick to the head because it's a one-shot headshot game, so let's utilize that. Um... Don't do body shots if you don't have to, right? So in that scenario, just flick up to the head. Now, a good way to practice this uh, is obviously going to Terrace Hunt. And um, whenever you see someone, just flick up to their head. Boom, easy. Aim chest level, head, pause. And just keep doing that and you'll get better at it to the point where it will implement into a game. So let's keep going. One's blue. I can't, I can't peek her. So boom, one's blue. I, and I hear blue as well. So blue is on the blue is a hard right of this door. It's a it's a doorway. So I'm listening and I and since he said that, I know for a fact that there's an enemy to my right. So I'm listening to see if he's gonna push up to the door as well. So I'm listening to that, but also I'm peeking this to make sure to see if anyone's gonna push here. So I'm locking in right here and I'm listening right here so that if I have to react, I can. So Okay. Pause on that. Goodness. 
So boom, you guys heard that step, that footstep. Okay, listen, this is what I'm trying to say about really like you have to be locked in whenever you're playing this game. So we know that there's someone to the right, okay? We don't know that there's somebody here, but we did hear someone diagonal. Now that that's the type of thing that I'm talking about that sound is a huge part of this game. It's hard to tell when things are diagonal, right? But in this scenario, I could tell that there's someone diagonal. And also, there, remember before when I said there was a mirror set up on, the, on that half wall where that rotate is? There's a mirror right there, which means I heard the diagonal sound, which means boom, mirrors in that corner right now. And there's someone to the right. So I'm gonna continue to sh uh, see if someone's gonna peek this. And then I'm gonna go and see if I can kill mirror. Someone peeked. And then now I peeked the mirror. And I checked for flank, but I cut that out of the video. And there she is. Downed her. Try to go for the finish. Heard someone push up. And there we go. Easy round. So that's what I'm trying to say. Like when, when people are like, you know, oh, you know, like he's cheating. How did he know he was there? Blah, blah, blah. It's legit all about how you're writing things down in your head. So like all that stuff, I was just checking the box every single time. So make sure that you put yourself in the less, the most less... I don't know how that is it. Um, dangerous situation as possible first and then deal with the others. Because if I were to look at the mirror first, if someone were to peek my left, that kid who uh, peeked, I'd be dead. So I might have downed her or killed her, but the kid on my left, you know, the, look at the things that are the biggest threats first. I think they have a rotate here. Okay, so what I just did there was I threw a drone on this ledge right here. Through a drone on this ledge, just to listen through the barricade, you break the glass and you can hear right through. And that's how I came up came up with this call out. I'm rotate here. So I heard movement right there. And in that uh, situation, that's a balcony. And that's those uh, walls are usually reinforced. So I was like, how can I hear somebody right next to me right here? And I was like, I think they have a rotate. And that's why. So I go up, move my drone so it doesn't get destroyed, and boom, look at that. There was a rotate there. Very quick, very easy kill on Mira, which actually helped us clutch the round. Okay, so he just said one is in blue. So that means that one is in blue. He literally just died from it. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, there's a 50-50 chance that I'm going to get swung if I run in here. Okay, so one's in blue. He just died, which means he's reloading. Now, why would he swing when he's reloading? He wouldn't, so that's why I pushed in. But there, like I said, there's a 50-50 chance that he does. I have like three bullets and then ego swings and whatever. But in that case, I don't think I'd die either way. So the one person is still unknown, okay, until legit like two seconds out of this. That's why I'm kind of like looking through here. But also I was looking to see if the blue guy would rotate into this site. So boom, that little footstep, I heard him above me. So, and I know that my teammate is right next to me. So that's whenever the team that my teammate calls out top main and blue and then that's whenever I, you know, I'm trying to see which one is an opposing threat first. So I'm looking to see if this guy, because this guy would be a bigger threat because he's closer to me and he could rotate into this doorway and kill me. But watch what I do. Right. So my teammate starts planning. He's completely defenseless. He can't do anything about it. And it and uh, whoever it is ran down the stairs fast and is aiming. So I just kind of. Hope that this guy isn't going to push at the wrong time and then go in for the kill. So that little gunshot, right? I heard that right next to this door, which means he's not behind me. So I'm this entire time is just a listening game. That's on blue. So right now I'm trying to play as passive as, I, uh, passive as I possibly can. I'm trying to listen to where he's going. And he's running back and forth. So that's why I'm looking back and forth. Flash. So I'm like, let me get in a less stressful situation and go over here to get cover. And then I end up missing my shots. Oh, dude. Okay. So I heard him close at that last second. That's why I aimed to the right and then aimed kind of lower. You saw what I did. I adjusted because I knew he was crouched. Uh, well, no. I adjusted because I thought he was standing up, but he wasn't. But I did hear him there, and we ended up winning the round because of this air jab. Look at this. Let's go. Just, that was, dude. Just barely. Okay. And then this is when they started saying I was cheating. So. All right. So right now I'm going for a cheeky little spawn peek. And then end up killing their top frag. So right now I'm like, all right, let me just rotate the long way. Here I'm right to my left. 
and then he oh, hear that uh, audio cue of him going on the roof again dude <laughs> did, did people forget that like hearing is a thing genuine question like yeah i looked up while i need to get out of the habit of doing that because it looks like i'm tracing him through the wall but like it's that's just because i'm preparing myself for where he actually is it's a good habit to get into for crosshair placement but yeah i heard him go up and get on repel on the roof two on uh fireplace so two on fireplace balcony that's written down in my head i'm trying to pass through but making sure no one's watching the pixel and then i get in my position in piano Boom, piano window, that's one, and then the two on balk. So that those are the two um, positions that I need to look for. All this all this is being written down in my head, just so silently, and I'm just sitting here. Teammate gets downed. Piano window gets shot open, so I'm thinking that Nomad's gonna or whoever's there is gonna start getting aggro. That flash didn't affect me. Now, if you didn't know, Warden's ability makes noise, so. That flash, I was waiting for it to disappear off my screen so I wouldn't have to make any noise. But this one, I had to put my thing on, which made noise, but Matt maxed it perfectly. So, kill her. Check this window. Okay. This is where all of the comments were flowing in about me cheating. Okay. In, in the live stream, I live stream Siege. So, like, y'all can see my screen, but I guess you can go work around it. Okay. Why did I look up here? I was planning on throwing a C4 because this window's open and I was waiting for someone to jump in so I could throw the C4. I didn't decide to do that, okay? So watch. Heard someone crouch walking, okay? L look at this, look at this, okay? I was like, you hear the run towards the window? You can hear the snow on the balcony to the right outside of this window. I was like, okay, he's probably gonna run and jump in. That's why I was here. He didn't. So then I heard someone crouch walk to the, to my left. Like I said, that diagonal sound. So crouch level, left side of the door. And then I just, I honestly did this for a clip and then it, it connected. So just watch. Okay, hear him to my right. I don't know if y'all heard that sound cue. Let's, let's go back, let's go back. It legit was right next to me. That's how I knew that he was walking up to this window. Listen. Right there. And then that's whenever I did it. Good uh, mouse placement and everything. Get an easy kill. Had to wrap around because they had the entire site open. So I just went around, got an easy kill, and then ran all the way back. Oh, y'all just chill, just chill. I'm rotating. Back to the OG spot. Hear him right there, easy standing. See, see me uh, fix my crosshair, raise it a little. Perfect head level, perfect, easy. Reaction time, crosshair placement. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. That was crazy, all right? I, I droned this entire place and she was in library hidden and then pushed out. I had no idea she was there, so I had a hit a nice little flick ski. It's a zombie above, dude. So this breach charge spot is insane, bro. Because if you can see, look, you get visibility of this little connector room, which someone was in and I missed my shots. Very, very good because you can stand on the stairs to the left and get an even better peek. Did you hear that noise? Sounded like he was just, okay. He's on top of these stairs. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, I heard, I heard some, uh, weird noises and no one's on my stairs to my left, obviously. So what's on the other side of the stairs to my left, the stairs going down to sight. I mean, it's, it's, it's simple. It's a legit, just sound cues. <laughs> so y'all tell me tell me if you can see a pattern in my gameplay right legit all it is is sound cues and and reading if they're crouched or not and what can apply the most pressure right 4v1 i'm still applying pressure still now i'm looking teammates pushing in i should just run into sight get greedy but i'm not i'm creating pressure 
Check for flank. Hit him a little bit. Now listen, in this scenario, right? I hit him a little bit. This is map knowledge as well. In this little room that I just hit him in. Remember how I said there was that blue door? Okay, the blue door leads to these stairs. So I ran down these stairs as fast as I could. And then... There he is. Okay. Just like that. 18 and 4 against Janips. Next game. This this was when I was playing against um, some of my uh, friends that I used to play with um, when we were climbing up the champ. All right, so I don't know if y'all noticed what I just did, but when I like kind of stared at the camera for a little bit, you hear the thermite going off. Okay, I'm sneaking upstairs, so I'm waiting for that thermite to go off. Right when it explodes, I shoot the cam so no one can hear. Watch. See what I mean? Kill Best one. Player dead. Now, now listen to this, okay? Now, I th th this one, this one is why I, the these enemy guys um, thought I was cheating as well. So look, dead. when I was droning earlier, I saw that Doc and Vigil were both here, okay? Now, whenever I got off the drone, I saw Vigil run into this corridor straight ahead, okay? Map knowledge as well. After I kill him, I didn't hear anything. That there was no noise whatsoever that I could hear, okay? Map knowledge and common sense. He ran that way. Bro just called, yo, he's on main stairs, blah, blah, blah. So this was a chance that I was taking. I have no other, you know, things going on. There's no other enemies that I got to worry about. So I'm thinking, okay, where's Vigil? Right here. And I was like, oh, wait, maybe, maybe he's pushing this way, right? Because the, how it goes is you go through the door down there, go straight, and then take a left and go straight. And there's that, the stairs. And then you go all the way around, and which leads right here. So, Vigil's roaming. Where else would he be, right? So, I slow walk. Right there, I hear him. Did you guys hear those little, little taps? And that's when I know, head level, he's not crouching. Easy. Vigil Boom. dead. Don't look at me. I have no idea. All right, back to the OG strat right here. Echo's on his drone. Easy. It's Echo dead. I'm assuming no one called this out to bro. It's Warden dead. That that was open. So, killed Warden. And then I push down these stairs and I die. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. That was the next round. Push down. Hear him. Because he ran a little bit. Blah, blah, blah. Easy ace. Okay. So, y'all saw those gunshots, right? Look at this. Watch. Okay. Watch this. Gunshots. Right there. Right across my screen. They were completely horizontal, which means he's on the same level as me. If it was different, it'd be like this. Shooting up. Okay. He's on, on the same level as me, so I'm literally just going to sit here and wait for him to peek me. Head level, easy. Now, he knows where I am, and he pre-fires. And I won that gunfight because of crosshair placement and discipline. Open it up, create some pressure over there so that they can rotate into the this room right below me, and then blow it up. <clears throat> Hear the maestro cam. Thought I heard something over there. Peeked it. Easy kill. And this this is whenever I die. I hear him. I know that he's behind this shelf. But he just... How did, how did I lose this gunfight again? Oh yeah, pre-fire and bad aim. I thought he was going to be closer. Okay. So, in this situation, ob it's obvious, you know, they didn't know I was there. He didn't drone. Use your drones. Hey. They're there for a reason. Okay. Just go ahead. Use this guy. Okay? Hey, dude. I, uh, freaking... How'd you know I was there, bro? Because you're shooting open a barricade that has glass on it. So, of course, I'm going to hear it. And I was sitting here waiting for them to push here anyways because everyone spawns on the side of the map. 
waited, sat here and waited for him to break open the barricade because nine times out of 10, either they're going to be in front of it or vaulting it. And he was vaulting it. Okay, so you see that? So whenever a shield operator hits a barricade, they do this and their head is exposed and that's why I was shooting. So there's another tip. Throw a C4 because maybe he was going to vault that again, but he didn't. And then I checked around and he wasn't there. Now I heard him hop through the window to my left, but I also hear people right here. And then here, there he is. Now, in this scenario, when you're facing a blitz, always run up to the shield and, and melee. Stop doing the shoot the feet and, 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 you know, switch your other gun, shoot the feet, go for the feet, pause on that. Just run up to the shield because when you knife a shield, they go like this. And when they do that, then shoot the body. Or if they do like this guy did and he went to knife me, they do this and then they knife. Okay. So that opened him up. Boom. Easy. Pause on that. Didn't hear this guy. I ain't gonna lie. Ah, frick. So yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I did not hear that guy. Okay, so in this scenario, um, I'm watching this. They're pushing piano door pretty heavy, as you can hear. Um, the door to my left is castled. So not, like a, most of the time, people are gonna go push this door to my left. So I'm still like, this is still like spidey sensed right now. It's like this door, this door, this door. So if they don't open it up with a, if they open up with like a Zofia or a breach char or, or a uh, Ash or something, then I just run away and reposition. But if they use a breach charge, just like this guy right here, got close and stuck in the animation and I was able to shoot his toesy woesies and then get back to where I was. So one's still there to my left is still Spidey sense, by the way. So still listening over there. They're stream sniping. And they were stream sniping because uh, they went to the door to my left and then just ran away. And they wouldn't push piano where I was peeking because I was looking there. <clears throat> so then I'm just like, all right, I'm just going to pre-fire, hit a little on gridlock, call it out to my team, get back in my position I was, and a nice little head glitch, and boom, easy kill. And then reposition to get a closer angle because look, he was like, all right, he's peaked. He's uh, got a pixel right here behind the desk. So he's probably going to wait until he gets there and then pre-fire me so if i get if i move a little to the right which i can see before he sees where I, he thinks i am he's going to over peak which is what he does and then i kill him before he can even pre-fire see that see how it was sneaking over there to kill me yeah so easy round now this is one that i really want to show you guys um because this this was for the clutch it was a 4-3 situation and it was an ace so boom easy kill Push with my teammate. Loki baited him a little bit. I ain't gonna hold you. Actually, no, I didn't because he was pushing. He he was baiting me, and then he rushed up when I was sneaking, which is why they heard him. And then I baited him, kinda. They're like, bro, stop rushing and just calm down. But that's what happened. And then I swung, not not you know expecting it. Killed him. He's dead. Literally dropped as soon as he That's crazy. That's because he heard you do the eight mile run. So right there, um, I also heard the steps above me. They echo like, doo, doo, doo. and then I just watched the stairs and he pushed good aim, it. Good aim. Shoot that because that makes way too much noise. Watching the stairs. Definitely on a few at least. And so I do that to make noise, shoot the camera. So they think that I'm pushing that way. And then I run around. And so teammate said like three minutes ago while I was doing that, yo, they dropped case. And I think he said bedroom or something I, I don't know what he said but he said they dropped case and blah 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 and so it just processed in my mind and i was like bet so ran all the way outside ran around to get a better position right really must have been lagging or something <laughs> oh. okay check my corners this guy was completely lost last easy kill last one should be bet on site okay that's that's how my teammate died right? He, that's where he died. And so that was a good, even though that wasn't true, it was a good call because it gave me, it eliminated the door to my right, all downstairs, everything. So I'm like, okay, he wouldn't be in the same exact position and he's, uh, that he was in when he killed my teammate. His teammate just died right here. So he's going to push up 
because I'm going to have to push into sight either way. So either he's going to be closer and he's going to be holding a peak or he's going to be further. And then in that case, I can just pre-fire whatever I want and then go from there. Pick it up. Heard absolutely nothing. I'm, I ain't even going to hold you. But this was just a prediction. I was predicting that this guy would be here and he was. Um, like I just said, there was either two options. That's why I'm, I'm disregarding everything in my right. Either he's going to be in sight waiting for me to push in and he's going to be like play defensive or he's going to be a little bit more aggressive and hold a closer peak, which in return he got punished. Good stuff. That was so sexy. Good stuff, bro. GG. You guys like this uh, space? I think it's really uh, relaxing. I think it's really aesthetic. All right, let's get the outro. What am I doing? All right, guys, I appreciate every single one of you guys tuning in, man. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this different style of a video. Um, let me know if you want to see more of these or if you want to see more tips and tricks. I did get a comment about wanting to see some tips and tricks for Frost, and I forget who the other one was. So that's written down. So that is going to happen. But if you guys want to see another uh, episode of this, I have, I have so many clips on my YouTube. Go ahead and check out all my other videos I make such a wide variety of them like it's not even funny so anyways guys thank you so much for tuning in don't forget to drop a like subscribe and hit that bell notice so you get all the notifications when i go live or when i post so thank you again god bless i love you peace out